Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing Comfy Pals. Comfy Pals is a very cozy SMP made by Leah, which is a spin off of her series Comfy Craft. Everyone gets their own world, so I'm gonna show you mine. So, welcome to Floral City. As you can see, a bunch of flowers and a lot of pink buildings. It's still in its working progress. We are still working on it and um, it just like needs a lot of work, but obviously building from the ground up is gonna take a while. Here are my chickens. This is what I use to eat and sustain myself. Hi, pretty chickens. I love their texture pack. And I have my storage here, so, ow, that hurt. Um, I have a lot of stuff in here that I use and that I have found in caves and whatnot. And here's Maple, my bunny that basically will trade to get all of my stuff. My pretty blocks and flowers. And here's my bank. And there's a creeper. There are like interesting mobs here. Like a lot of mobs that you'll see eventually. And here's my bank, Floral City Bank. My bank is run off of floral petals. So you have to trade in something to get my currency, just like everyone else. Everyone has their own currency in the world, so that's really cool. We have huge plans for this city. It's gonna be so pretty, so pink, so floral. And I plan on like, you know, obviously I'm right next to a village. I'm planning on like moving things and building new structures, of course. And here's my cherry cow that also treats things. So we plan on just like taking over this village. Obviously the villagers can stay, but just changing everything, new structures. And we have some mail. Um, and a waystone. And you can see a lot of the towns here. Cannot wait to see them all. Let's go to spawn. I want to show you guys spawn really quickly. It's so beautiful. Like, look how pretty everything looks. I think it's very comfy. All right, so um, here's just what everything looks like. Honestly, this is my first time seeing this spawn. Um, it looks so nice. They did a really good job. And here's everyone who's currently in Comfy Pals. Currently 18 residents. Okay. So, and then we have a leaderboard. Or like, not a leaderboard. It's a, just like a, what do you call it? Like it's for, you know, notices and events. Oh, it's for announcements. Yes. Notice board. Yeah. Let's see what this book says. This is a Minecraft spin-off series of Elizabeth's Comfy Craft centered around town buildings, quests, making pals, events, animals, characters. This is the spawn of the world, and though it's not much right now, it is your mission along with the other comfy pals to build up the land with your own creative build. Whether it serves a purpose or purely for aesthetics, comfy cash is a server currency. However, each player will have their own currency. Be sure to do the currency quest on the notice board when you find an area to settle down. And we already completed that quest and now we have our own currency called Flower Petals. Okay, so we're gonna also attend an event that's happening soon. So let's go do that. Okay, so this is Comfy Pal's first event. It's called the Abba Caving Competition. Basically, we get these tools and then we have to go into a cave and see who can mine the most. Basically getting the most stuff and each ore and each thing that we find is worth a certain amount of points. The person who gets the most wins the competition. I have a feeling that I'm not going to win. It's Leah and today we're here with the Comfy Pals. Oh, Yay. Wait. Yay. <laughs> Hello? Oh, guys, don't make, a, don't make any sound all at once now. Come on. Okay, so we all got our tools. So we got a pickaxe, some torches, and some food. And here are our chests. So when we finish the competition, we put everything that we got into the chest and we count everything up. So also we got some armor because, you know, we're all normal and we have a lot of, a lot of like crazy hostile new mobs and like this modded Minecraft pack. So I won't lie to you guys. I was so nervous because I'm not like the best Minecrafter. I don't really know what to do. Like, I'm not great at fighting mobs. I'm not like the best or talented. I don't know. Like I'm just like an average or even below average Minecrafter. I wasn't trying to win. I was mostly just doing it for fun. Okay, I was trying to win, but like I knew I wasn't going to win because I knew that everyone here is so experienced and know that they know how to mine well, not me. Anyway, so we just jump in this giant hole hoping not to die and we kind of like go our separate ways 
and we like go mining. I got away from a lot of people and I just found some ore. I just kind of like, I kind of tried to strip mine until I found a cave because I feel like everyone was kind of like walking into the taverns and I wanted to just find my own by just like mining, you know? I actually ended up finding a cave and I just dropped down because I didn't have time. There was a slime and a maid chasing me. And I was like, are you kidding me? I had like not a lot of um, hearts left, so I started to run and light the whole entire place up. I was so lucky that there was not a ton of mobs here. And there is so much ore in here, like a lot of stuff that I'm pretty sure was worth good money. Well, not money, really just good, you know, points. The maids in this game literally scare me. I don't know why. Like I want them to disappear. And finally she's dead. And then I had the best idea ever, I thought, was like if I just mined even like coal, anything that I saw, I would ultimately get a lot of points because, you know, the more the merrier. I was like, what's the point of finding these rare, uncommon ores when I can just get the common ones for a lot more? And how much time do we have? I honestly think that we had like, I don't know, like 15 minutes, which is a lot of time, but like when you're actually in the zone, the time flew by so fast. Okay, so I also started mining more after I raided that whole entire cave, and I found um, a different cave that was super high up, and I didn't have uh, like a bucket of water to fall down, and there were so many mobs below me. And I had a pretty good amount of like ore and blocks, but honestly, I knew that it was going to be bad. So I jumped down, and you know what? I ran for my life, and I wanted to get this like redstone, and I saw some gold that was going to be worth a lot more. And but then there were so many like <laughs> there were so many mobs that I ended up like just struggling to get these things. I was like, if I could just get one of these stupid ore, like just let me get it, and I couldn't. I was so frustrated. <laughs> And then I died. And that's how I um, basically finished my my competition. And I was kind of like angry chatting like it killed me before I could get to the cold. Anyway, I thought it was a really good try. At the end, we had to put all of our findings in the chest so we can have Leah count up everything and see who wins everything. And we all got spawned back to the original location. Who wants to know their score first? Me. I went to go first because I knew I was going to lose. Is everyone ready for Jen? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Ready? Three. Two. <laughs> She's laughing. It's a bad thing. Oh my gosh. Wow. No, I definitely lost. And we went through everyone's um, number of collectibles in the cave. And the winner was... It was Kai. They had over a thousand collected material from the caves. But yeah, thank you all for watching and have an amazing, spectacular day.